All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, today is a storage auction video. I purchased two lockers at this facility. This will be the first locker that I'm doing a clean out for. Uh, I have not been in this locker. I don't know what's really inside of it. All I do know is there's a bunch of bikes, there's a couch, some furniture, stuff like that. How I know that is because at the auction itself, what they do is they open up the door after cutting the lock or opening up the lock. They open up the door and then you can bid on what you see. You're not allowed to touch anything. You're not allowed to walk into the locker. You can only bid on what you see. So I paid $10 for this locker. Uh, it should be fun. I'll show you guys exactly what I un uncover from this, uh, this unit. If you are new to the channel or new to storage auction videos or storage auctions in general, what happens is a previous owner owes a certain amount of money on the locker. They decide not to pay after a couple months and then the unit is sold off. So the storage facility can make back some money, but most importantly, rent it out to someone who will pay. So this locker, I believe was owed about 650 or $700. I purchased it for 10 bucks. And let's get into it and let's see what we found in the storage unit today. Let's do it. All right, here it is. Don't want to lose that. Oh, there it is. All righty, there's a the locker. So, pay 10 bucks for this. There's got to be at least, I don't know, 75 bucks, 100 bucks in bike parts. If you want to separate like that, you got a nice grill over here as well. Some books. What you'll see in a lot of facilities as well as they'll put down these uh, poison traps for mice and stuff like that. Because you'll just end up having that because some people decide to store food. Hopefully there's no food in here, but this is the unit. I guess uh, guess we'll start digging. Don't know what really to do with uh, a lot of these bikes, but I think I'm going to save them. I think I'm going to save them for next spring or next summer to sell on uh, on Craigslist or at the flea market, since I do a lot of flea market stuff. So we got a folding table. Oh, it's still in there too. Nice. That looks brand new. How big is this? 48 inches by 24 by 27. So that's like a beer pong table. That's not gonna, it was $55, wow. So I need tables for a flea market. This one looks brand new, so that might be, I mean, 55 bucks for that. I can flip it for 15, 20 if I don't use it. So that pays for the locker in itself, but I guess uh, I'll bring the van over and we'll start loading some of this stuff up. Got books, Coors Light, some paperwork. Looks like a Christmas kind of box, maybe. Put you guys down. Let's start. Uh, let's start digging. All right. So I guess we'll start off with trying to make a little bit of. Pat we'll go through this box. What's in here? I don't know what's in here. What is that? Soft shapes. Got a remote. Glasses. What brand is this? This is Disney. Just play. Some toys. There's a bunch of other. I'll to show you this. Kids' toys at the bottom. Got a koozie. Small purse. Doctor's. The, the Doctor Seuss. No monies in there. That is. There's a light bulb. All sorts of like just random stuff in there. So that's probably going to be a, a donation box. We have a hose. Got a couple kinks in it. Some books. Good old bird watchers and a picture cook cook I'll, I'll probably be able to sell this. People like birds for some uh, some collectors out there. Picture cookbook probably is going to be a recyclable or a donation. Some paperwork. Here we have this wood box. Another book. Keep the good old bird watches. That's one of the flea market. A football. Good old Rip Wright football. It's an air. So this is definitely well worth it. 
then a box is shot. It's not even out of the packaging yet. Brand new. Brand spanking new. All right, so this is kind of the, the back side of uh, the unit. It's a really nice dress. That's going to be a pain to get out by myself. Only by myself today. It looks like another possible dresser up there. They took out all the drawers. I don't, I don't see any drawers in here. Got a mystery bin in the back. Mystery bin in the back. Got a box of what looks like books. Another box over there. A piece of siding, possibly. A mattress. Random bag. Got more books. Looks like in a puzzle. This, I think, is an elliptical. She might not work. Well, she goes like this. Oh! Not we. We got a random. Some things just like really confuse me. Like, why would that be in a storage locker? Why would you store it? So I don't know. Like, what? What's? What's the whole deal with half these lockers? Got a garbage bag here. Feels like toys or some plastic kind of thing. Uh, you know what? This I possibly could use. I was actually going to go out and buy one of these. That just needs to be washed. So if that fits, that would be perfect. These things, surprisingly, are a pain to buy because they cost a lot to ship. Unless you can get them at somewhere like Bed Bath & Beyond, but you're still going to pay like 20 bucks. Got a grill brush. Apparently these things don't taste too good. Bunch of soaps and cleaners. This is for your toilet bowl. That's bowl. Got some random things. And a toaster. What just something leaked in there? truck still with the car so that's nice so far before we got to any of the bikes I think we're up like around you say like 30 or 40 dollars we got that that'll probably get what 20 bucks for uh, Hesh truck probably about five bucks a couple books dollar each some of this stuff dollar each so we're up a little bit of money you gotta figure out something to do with some elliptical uh, this couch, seen better days. You guys can see all the green mold growing on that. So something like this has to be thrown out. And if you don't have a place to throw it out, you'll have to pay to dump it at a landfill. I don't know what it costs, maybe 30 bucks, 20 bucks to throw it out at a landfill. For me, I can just throw it out for my garbage and they pick it up. Uh, you're allowed to pretty much throw out anything. You do pay a little bit more money, but... So I'm able to buy lockers because I can get rid of this stuff for pretty much cheap or nothing even though you do pay more money for garbage so I guess it's not exactly nothing it's just part of the whole thing this is a nice dresser sold what's that sold I don't know does this have a price on it this might have a price on it Clearance, last one, dresser, holy, oh jeez, wow, $700, was $2,055, Ashley Furniture, so that's a $700 dresser right there, I don't know if you guys saw this, got some assorted pills on the, on the ground, don't know what that's all about, 
nice wheelchair. This is a great locker. So I do have a bin here. I guess if I want to pull out this dresser, we'll have to go through this bin. So we'll go through the bin. I know there's another bin in the back as well. It's probably football cards and stuff. You got a pro football encyclopedia. Uh, you got a blanket. Kind of show you guys. Let's, let's move you over. A random thing of tape, some black and decker scissors, possible camera, or slides for a camera, and you just see nothing actually, just case. That's like a fake. Should have known that. And it's also empty. So, two empty things for slides. This is something I think would sell at like Lambertville Flea Market. Bionicle Legos, Masters of the Universe, which was a puzzle, jigsaw puzzle. Not bad. Got some Elvis Presley stuff. Got Elvis Presley, Elvis Presley. Possibly some Elvis Presley records. This is, no, that's the Four Seasons. So you got some Elvis Presley books, some records. Small puzzle. I think we saw, oh yeah, we saw puzzles over there as well. Whatever this is for slides, scissors, tape. It's quite a bin. And a nice bin. Next thing is somehow taking apart this, which looks like it's going to be a pain. There's a bow, a random sock. Other stuff in there. So we got a bow here. This is made by Cobra. Don't ask me if this thing's worth money because I have no clue. Looks a little beat up. I don't know what this thing does. Maybe it lines up your arrow. Got me. So the old Cobra bow. That's got to be what? At least 10 bucks. You throw it out on a flea market that we don't know much about. 10 bucks. Cheap, good deal. Everyone likes it. Jeez. All right. Gotta get this one down. We have a bike in the way, obviously. <laughs> There's a lot of bikes in here. This one is a Schwinn. Schwinn Ranger. Where's the front tire? Because this one looks like a really nice bike. Like, how does someone even put that up there? Wow, that's it. Got some bins over. Got some boxes over here. VHS. Uh, VHS is the Born Supremacy CD or DVD. More VHSs and a bunch of CDs. Doug Fisher in concert from Israel. It's gotta be collectors. Still sealed. Some stuff in there. Some more VHSs. So VHS is I usually just donate. Surprisingly, uh, people buy these at, at uh, thrift stores a lot. You sell these at the flea market, no one even wants them. But whenever I'm at a thrift store, people are buying VHS. So I guess, uh, check out this. Right on DVD on the floor. Boom Duck Saints. This thing's actually, it's got a, got a lot of fingerprints on it, but it might work. Check out this. Fall Stick Road. It's about a $10, $15 item at the flea market, so 
a bunch of these $10 items. I mean, they had to pay for the locker in it itself. It's an older one. It's kind of embossed. I don't know how old. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I, I don't even know where Fall Stick Road is. It's a little dirty. Let's go look at what's inside this bin. Oh. Look at that. Pittsburgh's this thing is missing the oh there it is. Got some road champs. These look like comics with with uh action figures. X-Man. That might be a collector's item. All sorts of random stuff in here. What else we got? More of these guys. Radio, CB radio, Radio Shack. Casio, little television maybe, radio. More stuff. More Elvis stuff. So this guy just likes Elvis. Big Elvis fan. Beetle Bailey. All sorts of cool things. Got a nice little matchbox thing there for a car. Got some Star Wars cards. Very, very cool. Not bad. Not bad. I don't really come across a lot of comic stuff. I don't come across a lot of toys. But it seems like toys always come around no matter what they are. Unless they're Beanie Babies. Then they, then they just, you know. That's garbage. This thing looks like... I don't know what it is. It's heavy. Sewing machine. Empty. Empty. Okay, sewing machine in here. That's just garbage. Got a random basket here. Some scrap metal. Always make sure when I do clean outs, uh, storage lock clean outs, have some tools. I have a, an axe over there, I have a hammer in the van. Uh, I got this impact screwdriver. Very good to take apart things, especially if things are too heavy. All right. Managed to get that moldy couch in there. I can't tell you what that, that might be blood. So who knows? That's what kind of storage lockers are. They are weird in general. This thing is nice. When I take out the drawers to move it, you got a little bit of mold on the bottom down there, which you can probably just wipe off with some mold remover. Right. That one's empty, empty. They're probably all empty. Oh, no. Right. Got some more bird books. Looking a little bare. Oh, somebody's registration for a car. More books. Modern military aircrafts. I'll go my book section. Kid stuff. Some axe. More kid stuff. Got a wig. Change. Can always use that. Couple couple pennies. It's all just garbage most likely. Empty. Empty. Is there anything behind here? No. Just some more of this stuff. This is your, this goes on the back of furniture. This is like that cardboard press board stuff you put on the back. All right, here it is, all cleared out. 
It's a pretty big locker. I don't know what size this would be. I think this is a 10 by 20. So, or 10 by 25. It definitely, if you want to really load up this locker, you can really load up this locker. and It'd probably be like five or six van loads of stuff. Um, hopefully in the spring, I'm gonna be buying more lockers uh, like this size, but with more volume. I know they are out there. It's just, it's a lot of work. And right now, considering that there's no flea market going on, I can't really move this inventory. So I have to store it somewhere else. And I do have space, but it's starting to get a little limited. And uh, I know you guys do like these storage locker videos. So I might try to, you know, up my work and try to kind of get out there and, you know, really try to move this merchandise. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. This is exactly what a real storage auction looks like, a storage auction locker that is. Uh, there's nothing here that's, you know, staged, fake, or for a show. I mean, there's a lot of furniture. You're going to end up with some couches. Fortunately, I did not have any televisions or TVs in this locker, but overall, it was very, very fun. If you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy storage locker uh, videos in general, smash that like button and make sure to subscribe. I will be doing another video shortly on the second locker that I purchased at this facility. I think I want to go out there and try to clear it out within the next couple days. My back is a little bit sore from lifting that couch and all that furniture, um, but... So I'm going to try to get that out shortly. If you want to see more videos, definitely subscribe. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.